Hey everyone, how's it going? So, I bought myself another bike. Well, not for me, but for my daughter. And how do I go about it? Um, I was, my daughter's 10 and she'd never ridden before, but she has ridden a push bike, so she's got the balance all right. So ideally, I wanted to go out and get her a 110cc bike that had a automatic clutch, so she could learn to change gear, she could get a throttle, um, learn a bit of our throttle control. Anyway, I went out there and a brand new one was about two and a half grand and she sat on it and because she's quite tall like me um, she fit on it but within around six months I reckon she would have been too big for it. So I didn't want to go new because I didn't want to spend that much. I only to have a you know need to get another bike down the track. So what I done I put an advert um, well, I just put it out there on uh, Facebook, um, on some few of the motorcycling pages, and I got a response from one of the guys. You know, I was looking for a bike for my daughter, she's 10. Guy got back to me and he said, I've got a bike, come and have a look at it. Anyway, this was it. The Kawasaki KLX 140. Um, this one's uh, 10 years old. And what done the deal for me, it virtually looked brand new. Uh, Apparently it had only been used for about five hours and I believe it looking at the condition, the tires. And he also, what really sealed the deal was he had some, he had some um, riding gear. So my daughter had boots. She had pretty much everything. The only ex new thing I had to buy was a helmet, which I would have done anyway. Anyway, this one had been sitting in his shed for quite a number of years. So he gave it a tidy up. And um, there was just a couple of things that, so what do you do to a bike that looks brand new that's been sitting into a garage? There's still things you need to do. You need to change the fluids. So first thing we did was we dropped the oil. All right, so we're gonna drop the oil. Good chance it's a bit of, it's highly contaminated. It's probably got, it's probably got um, a bit of petrol in it because the um, fuel sap is left in the open position. Carefully. That looks pretty new. Hell, oh, uh, we're going to drain it out anyway. Uh, we're going to change the filter. Just good practice. Uh, it only takes a litre, so or thereabouts, just a bit over a litre. So we'll, we'll fill it up, um, drop the oil, um, replace the filter, and go from there. But always good practice. We don't know how long the oil's been sitting there. It looks like he's just changed it. Um, probably changed it and then put it in storage, but we just can't risk it. Even though the oil looks good, I'm still gonna replace the filter. As I said, I, I just don't know how long it's been sitting there. It looks like it's been well maintained, but it's just good practice from. Looks quite good, but again, not risking it. Grow on the just give it a quick clean out. Let's put some around the seal. Beautiful. Yeah, pop that O-ring back in. It looks like it's in really good condition, so no need to replace it, just wipe the excess oil off. There's an arrow pointing upwards, so I'll leave that go straight on. Doesn't take much oil, it only takes about a litre, so you really need to be vigilant on your oil changes. And even though they're a pretty robust motor, So, let's quickly spin that back on. So, check the manual, it says to tighten these up to these 8.8 Newton meters. And get. All right. And yeah, we'll check them again. Yep. Yep. Job done. And there's the filter replaced.
Yeah, it looks like overkill, but there we go. Done. Right. Takes approximately one litre, so that's what's going to get. About a minute to drain in, drain down. Drop all the old fuel out of the bike and replace it with new fuel. Replace the battery and then check um, check the spark plug, chain, they all look good. Give the chain a lube and new battery, new fuel and so I'll give it a start. So she's quite straightforward. Push the button on. You get that little uh, red LED. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't have a Kickstarter, which I didn't realize when I bought it. Otherwise, you know, a bit of a pain. So I wasn't able to start it that night. Anyway, check it's in neutral. Hit the electric start. Give it a pump. Oh, it almost started. And there she is. So it starts up nicely, it runs nicely. No, the exhaust still looks brand new. A couple of scratches, but you know, kids drop things. But over and all, over all, I was quite happy with it. Daughter was stoked when she got it, and why wouldn't she be? Um, Kawasaki do things differently. You know, most sell one, two, five. This is a four stroke 140, so they like to do a bigger capacity, you know, a bit more bragging rights there. Um, Everything was in good nick, so overall I was happy with it, uh, rides quite well, and yeah, stoked. Anyway, this should provide my daughter with years of riding, um, enjoyment and learning. It's not overly powerful, but don't underestimate it, it can give you, it's, um, it's got plenty of power for what she needs. As I said, overall it was good. You know, better turn it off. Again. Anyway, um, when it's not been used for a while, I like to drain the fuel right out of it. I'll turn it off. I'll let it run down until it um, until it uh, drains itself for fuel, so it doesn't corrupt the fuel line. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next vid.